Now, you could certainly talk about his struggles. Uh, you can talk about how whenever he was asked to play the tackle position, he struggled. And, and, and he struggled quite a bit. But you cannot tell me. I don't know not one single person, Ravens fan, whatever, who saw this coming. Nobody. Like, and this like is is it's crazy to me because I know with Tyree Phillips, again, I know it was a it was rough for him. It was, it was really rough for him. Um, but I just I did not see the Ravens moving on that fast from a third round pick. Um, back what, two years ago? Now apparently they, they did try to trade Tyree Phillips, but uh nobody was really interested in trading for him. Um, but man, that's this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Like this this is out of everything that's happened with the roster. This, for me, is the biggest surprise, the biggest shocker uh, for me. Out of everything that's happened, after everybody that they put on IR, uh, people that they released, people that they kept, this is the biggest shocker for me. I have continued to say, y'all know, I, I've continued to say that I felt like the Ravens were going to trade Ben Powers. I thought they were going to trade Ben Powers. I thought um, them, who had they kept propping him up, oh, he's probably going to be the starting left guard. Oh, he can also play some center, too. We're trying him out as different positions and whatnot. I thought that that was them giving him the Jermaine Elmanor treatment and being like, all right, there you go. Somebody trade for him. Take him. He's yours. That's what I thought that was. Um, and it possibly still could be, but with them releasing Tyree Phillips, that makes it a whole lot less likely. Uh, well, and shout out to Isaiah Likely, by the way. That wasn't even, even a likely pun. But, um, wow. Wow. And, and what's crazy is that I thought that uh, one of the because they kept a lot of offensive linemen uh, after the initial 53 man ride. They kept a whole lot of offensive linemen. So I'm thinking, OK, yeah, uh, moves will be made. Moves will be made. Somebody probably going to get traded. Somebody going to get shipped off. But I would have never, ever, 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 ever thought that it would be Tyree Phillips. Um, one, because of his draft status, him being a third round pick just a couple years back. Two, because he's somebody. While it was a little bit of a drop off when he did do it, but at the same time, he's somebody that could start for you at a couple of different positions on the offensive line. Especially like I would have never thought that he he won the starting guard positions. He won the starting left guard position last year, but then we remember uh, he got hurt in that very first game against the Raiders. He got hurt, and man, this is this is crazy, boy. Boy, this is crazy. So I just, wow, wow, like, that's all, like, wow, I just, man, I don't even know what to think about it, um, mm. in other news, uh, none of the players that Ravens, um, released the wave yesterday, none of them got picked up. On uh, the waiver wire So literally every single person That Ravens waived They could all come back They're all eligible Excuse me Eligible to come back uh, On the practice squad Or if Ravens decide They want to bring them back to the roster Whatever Ravens got plenty of options there So I guess I'll, n nobody will look Checking for Ravens people like that Like the Jets They had I, I think it was seven people Seven people that got claimed, and, and, and Ravens actually put in a claim for one of them, a linebacker. Uh, let me look up his name one more time, because I, I can't think of it off the top of my head. I know it's like Phillips. It's like something Phillips. Oh, there we go. Uh, Delshawn Phillips. So we cut Tyree Phillips, and we bring on Delshawn Phillips. Um, now, I'm not sure much. I'm not very sure about his game, his strengths, his weaknesses, anything like that. Um, but Jeff Rebick said he can play both linebacker spots. Uh, I, I did read somewhere that he is a little bit undersized. Um, but hey, we'll see, we'll see how it works out. But Ravens, so, so now I guess Ravens, they cleared a little bit more uh, cap room with the Tyree Phillips release. So they do the Ronnie Stanley. It's like today, today is National Offensive Line Day. So they, they, they restructure Ronnie Stanley and now they cut Tyree Phillips. I don't know what's next.